gentlemen and welcome to the Knights broadcast presentation of Southern Virginia Athletics. Today's second game here at the Knights Arena for the D3 men's volleyball game. It'll be between the Randolph-Macon Yellow Jackets and your Southern Virginia University Knights. As always, I am Christian Clement and today I am joined by Miss Miriam Gotti. Yep, Mary Gotti for today's broadcast. This is the second game today here at the Vaughn. As earlier today, the men's volleyball team did took the 3-0 three, three victory over Roanoke College. So it's going to be very interesting. Randolph-Macon coming, having to go to five sets against their against Roanoke. So it'll be interesting to see how the, see how fatigue and is going to be a factor for them today. I mean, it sounds like if Roanoke, we were able to beat Roanoke in three, and Randolph-Macon went to five with them. It seems like we should be able to take this, but it's anybody's game right now. We'll see what happens. Yeah, for sure. Starting lineups today for Randolph-Macon, we have at Libero, number one, Brooks, Car Brooks Carrett. Number two, setter, Cody Rogan. Number nine, Jared, outs outside hitter, Jarrett Carino at number nine. Number 10, Colby Gibson, outside hitter. Number Number 11, Sean Cunningham at middle back. And then Libero, number 13, Andrew Burmeister. Last but not least, we have Mr. Hank Fargo, number 22, who's a middle back. Your starting lineups for the Knights. You have number one, Christo, who's, who's an outside hitter. Number four, Jeremy Brown, outside hitter. Justin Madsen, number... Number six, who is the, who's the libero. Making his return tonight, ladies and gentlemen, from injury is going to be number seven, McKay Walker, who's, gonna, who's going to be playing middle. Number 10, Tyler Schaefer, setter. Christian Schaefer, outside hitter. And there's your starting lineup. So it's going to be interesting seeing McKay back into the lineup. Another senior who's been, been out of action due to, that, due to her hand injury. Yeah, it's exciting to have him back. We'll see what he, how mentally he's back in the game or not. And it looks like it should be. Waiting on confirmation to make sure everyone's on the. Making sure everyone who's supposed to be on the, on the field to play is there on the field to play. Looks like SVU is going to start. Going to start the serve. Jimbo slash Jeremy Brown's going to take take the starting serve. He was he was pretty cold in the last game, so we'll see if this break has kind of helped him refresh a little bit. That'll be too far on the outside line for that hit. Way too much power and not enough flick of the wrist. Hate to see that as a start. Hopefully he got it out of his system, and now we'll, we're good to go. Yeah, we'll see. That'll send number two for them. That's going to be Co Cody Rogan for Randolph. SBU, SBU. 
barely does not dare, barely finds does not find that outside line. Looked to be a good shot, but just barely on the outside there for him. Going to be out of bounds, serving error on that one. Checking in number is going to be number one, Christo. Back to serve is going to be is Justin Madsen. A little bit of a floater. He's able to get his first save. Out of bounds. Little tipper there from Schaefer. I love the effort from number one, Brooks uh, Cowart from Randolph Macon. If he could have gotten that, because it was only their second touch, if he could have gotten it back over to his side of the net on the outside of the antenna, they still could have played that back over. And I want to see that happen in volleyball so bad. So I'm glad that he made the effort to do that. Another one goes into the net for the Yellow Jackets, sending, sending the Knights back to the serving line. So far, McKay's doing pretty good consistency-wise. Back line for Jeremy. It's gonna be the four hit, four hit roll there. Yeah, I think SVU Knights were thinking that that blocker might have touched it, but ends up he didn't. Shape, shape for special. Tyler up to his brother Christian for that one. Checking in for the Knights, number 18, Kyla Evans. That'll send Ty Tyler Schaefer back to the line to serve. He's, he tried to put a little bit of fancy on that one, and unfortunately, that doesn't follow through. Back to serve for number 22. Going to send number 22, Frank. Frank. Hank for Gilia on that one. To Evans for the kill. That was set up by none other than Mr. Sh Mr. Christian Schaefer on the assist. Christian, Christian Schaefer back to serve. Kill. I think that's going to go to Ty go to Tyler on that one. Someone wanted to come and play today, folks. They're going to get Jeremy for an up and over. Yes, yeah, so we were talking about that with the coach earlier before this game. Me coming from a lot more experience in women's volleyball, you don't see that call as much. But when the ball is completely on the other side of the net, you can't just reach over and play it. You gotta let the other team do what they're gonna do with it. A little miscommunication from Shaver there. He thought he thought he was gonna be able to go up and grab it, but no, he was trying not to have that reach over call. Schaefer a little too far out of bounds there on that one. Oh! Never mind, they're calling tip. Coming back into the in for the Knights is gonna be McKay Walker which will send number one, Cristo, to, to the serving line. And he gets his, and welcome back, Mr. Walker, with his first point of the game.
gonna go, that's gonna be considered an ace for Christo. Christo's gotta be filling that one after that one. And that unfortunately goes a little too far on that one. Checking back in is gonna be Libero, Justin, Mad Justin Madsen which will send number 10, Colby Gibson, to the serving line for the, for the Randall Macon. Nope, they're gonna call that out of bounds. So that, that point will go to Randolph. I mean, that one's a hard ball to get. Anytime that ball goes straight for the pole, it's hard to do something good with that ball. Out of bounds. Little interesting play there from both from both sides there. Tyler having fun with the dunking. Checking in is going to be number 15, Jayton Hill, and he's going to go to serve. Jayton's been doing pretty well for himself today. Barely on the outside there, it looks like. Gonna go point Yellow Jacket. Score is 10 to nine in favor of in favor of the Knights as of right now. Going to serve is gonna be number five, James Manning for the Yellow Jackets. Tries to go for the kill and is immediately blocked. Barely on the outside line on that one. Schaefer special. Tyler Schaefer to Christian Schaefer for the kill. Which will send Jeremy Brown to the line to serve. Jeremy taking his time. <laughs> Going back, back for Randolph making the serve is gonna be Mr. Cody Rogan. Christian just with a little too much power on that hit this go around. Score is now 13-11 in favor, in favor of the Yellow Jackets. A little too hot to handle for Jeremy. That's gonna be an ace for Cody. It's gonna be a timeout for the Knights. Oof, some rough play there on for the side of the Knights this go around. Yeah, that serve receive is kind of hard to watch. Um, but I'm sure that they are talking about that right now. They'll get it back together. So far what I've seen of this team is that they can bring it back together mentally and come as a team together pretty well. So I wouldn't be surprised if they come back out with more of their groove, more into their groove. Yeah, for sure. In the meantime, you if you're the Yellow Jackets, you've got to be proud of what you're doing so far. Being ahead of being ahead and having a kind of dominating control right now of the volleyball right now. Yeah, the momentum's definitely with the Yellow Jackets, but this is what happened at the beginning of the Roanoke versus Southern Virginia game earlier today. The Roanoke had the lead at the beginning of the first set and then SVU found their groove and got back into it and ended up winning winning in three. So it's anybody's game still. 
Yeah, for sure. After the timeout, Cody Rogan is going to go, he's going to be serving again for the Yellow Jackets. Another ace for Cody going to Jeremy. Jeremy's having a hard time, hard time with that shot right now. Flubs up that one. Looks like he, he missed time to jump. Gonna send Cristo. Cristo comes in for the libero and also McKay Walker back to serve. Tipped out of bounds by the Knights. Jayton Hill was ready to get that if it wasn't tipped off, unfortunately, there. N number nine, Colby Gibson now serving. Blocked by the Knights. But unfortunately, that block's gonna go up and over. Save for special. They get that one blocked. Right now, Randall Macon finding every block possible right now for the Knights. Time out. Oof. I mean, you're coming. You're coming off of Randolph making winning, and they were just playing, and they so they are already in this mindset. They didn't have time time to rest and have their mind on other things. So SVU has to get their mind back into volleyball mode, and. We'll see what happens. Earlier you were saying that they've never lost a set here in the barn, so I feel like that's motivation right there to add on to just wanting the win in general, just to bring it back together, show what they can do as a team, and co come together and really pull this out. For sure. Coach, Con Coach Tom doing one of his nor one of his, hey guys, it's okay. We can still come back to win this type of speech is not, not the normal screaming and yelling we see most other coaches do when you're being this bad. Back to serve for Randolph Macon. It's going to be nine. Jarrett Car Carano. Jeremy Brown gets the kill. That's got to feel good for him. Yep. Definitely starting to swing that momentum and get it back into the groove. Yeah, after a couple of those aces were on his watch, that has to feel good for him to make be able to get retribution. It's going to be Tyler Schaefer back to serve. Jeremy with the save. Jeremy again with the save. Schaefer to Schaefer. After a really good rally there on both sides of the ball. I thought it was really smart to bring that ball over to the left side of the net because there was a lot going on on the right side. So I thought that was gonna really get it, but that blocker read that just like he should and he did his job over on the randolph Macon side. Number 15, Mateo DeLuca now serving for Randolph Macon. Cristo with the kill. Nice setup from Schaefer there to Cristo. That'll send Christian Schaefer back to serve.
almost was able to save it. Once again, that's legal. As long as he came over under the net outside of the antenna and he could have gotten that ball back to his team on the outside of the antenna, that is still very playable. And I'm so excited that I'm seeing effort towards that. Yeah, that is something that you see rarely done in volleyball, but it's, but it's amazing when they can make it work. Schaefer trying to go for the outside line. Unfortunately, he doesn't find it there. Checking in for Randolph Macon, number four, Davis Luck, and he's going to take the service. Score is currently 20 to 15 in favor of Randolph Macon. Going to be an ace on the inside line after barely finding the finding it up and over the net. Finding the kill is going to be Kyla Evans with the kill on that one. Back to serve, Cristo. Back to serve is going to be number 10, Kobe Gibson. That's going to be out of bounds. Too much power on that hit. Checking back in for the Knights is going to be number 15, Jayton Hill. Jayton Hall, my apologies, and he's going to take the serve. Jayton Hall has been one of those players that have been very consistent when it comes to serving. Point to Randolph making their score is 23-17 in favor of the Yellow Jackets. Serving now for the Yellow Jackets going to be number five, James Manning. Barely finds it up and over with that curve. Blocked by both Christian Schaefer and, and McKay Walker find the block on that one. Score is 23-18 in favor of the Yellow Jackets. Serving now is going to be Jeremy Brown. He barely finds that one to go up and over. Trying to go, looking to go for, Sha for Brother Schaefer there, but McKay Walker comes up with the kill instead. That's going to force Randolph making ti timeouts. This has been really great volleyball. I mean, SVU, they haven't made every play amazing but the ones that do, do make amazing they're really trying to make everything count yeah tyler schaefer with the assi assist to the assist to mckay there on that on that kill especially off that scrappy bump from i'm pretty sure is um jeremy yeah jeremy yeah i know jeremy has been making a lot of good saves so far been able to get a few of those digs in. Over there on the SVU side, coach doing what he does best, letting his players coach, coach each other and letting them pump each other up instead of him doing the talking. I'm sure he gives them his little nuggets of wisdom that they feed off of, but yeah, really, he lets his team his team do all the ramping up of the spirits and really coming together as a team, which I think is awesome. Back to serve, Jeremy Brown after the timeout.
going to be barely on the in outside line for Schaefer. That point, was a, to, point to the Knights. That was a very close call for SVU, a very important call momentum-wise because they only got that last point because there was a Randolph-Megan player in the net and that down rep called that. That was a really big call in this game. And this time you got the barn roll coming into play for that point where it comes off the roof and goes to the other side. And Jeremy, unfortunately, has a little too much power on that one. So now it's going to be point set point for Randolph-Macon with number two, Cody Rogan for the service. Goes straight into the net for that one. Going to serve. McKay, it's going to be McKay Walker back to serve. Cristo coming back in for the Knights. Score is now 24-22 in favor of the Yellow Jackets. Going to be off the roof, off of number one. That's going to be a considered an ace for for McKay Walker, the senior out of El Cajon, California. I love the way that McKay is serving right now. Just give it to the other team, see what they will do with it. And so far, their serve receive isn't been as, as great, but that last point definitely went to Randolph Macon. Schaefer unfortunately finds the Finds the block is there from Randolph Macon, which that'll give the points. So I think for the first time here in in the barn is a set goes to the opposing team. But that doesn't mean they have the whole game. So it's still anybody's game. We'll see who if they come back. Yeah. A better no. mindset as a team. Yeah. So, yep, after the first set, your score is going to be 23-25 in favor of Randolph-Macon. We're just going to take a quick 30-second intermission, and we will be right back, folks. bench talk over here between the players and they were talking about how uh, SVU they missed a lot of serves that last game and because they did hopefully that means they won't do that so much this game 
Yeah. So the Randolph Macon is knowing that they can't count on SVU making all the errors for them. So, um, but I think that Randolph Macon's in a good mental state. I mean, they just won that one, but they also know that SVU is going to be coming out with a lot of fire trying to get this back, hopefully. So yeah. they look focused over there to me. Total of six service errors coming out, coming out of that first set. Back to serve is going to be Cody Rogan for the Yellow Jackets to start the second set. Jay for special. That's going to be blocked, blocked and down. Right now, the Yellow Jackets are unfortunately reading SVU like a book right now. Jeremy with Jeremy with the error on that one. Kill goes to Jarrett. Sarah's error going to Rogan on that one. Back to serve for the Knights for the first time in this set is going to be Jayton Hall. Finds a nice easy tip but around the block is the SVU. Going back to the line for Randolph Macon is gonna is gonna be Jarrett Jarrett Carino. Over to Jeremy Brown. He's gonna find the kill. Number 13, Andrew. That's gonna be Andrew Barmeister looking for looking for it but unfortunately gets crossed in the way of one of his one of his own guys Tyler Evans with the block sorry that was McKay Walker with McKay Walker with the block but they're gonna call him that gonna be up and over as he was in, in he was in the net Number 15, Ty Jay Jayton Hall with the kill is able to get the pump fake up to the left side. McKay Walker going going back to serve. I think he's also. Tries to do the quick, easy up and over pass, but unfortunately just not enough power there and that goes straight into the net. Kay finds the net on that one. Points to Randolph Megan. Checking in for the Yellow Jackets is going to be Davis Davis Luck, who's also going to take the service. Finally find the Schaefer special. That time it was Christian to Tyler. It's usually it's Tyler to Christian, so that's fun. Yeah, I know. The Schaefer brothers just showing that, hey, I don't always have to be on the receiving end. I can be on the giving side, too. Barely gets it over the net after the tip. Jeremy's going to have to... Unfortunately... Barn roll comes into play for SVU. Usually it's the other way around. You don't see it so much against the SVU because we're so used to it with practicing in here so often, but that time that light, that light got us. That was number 10 with the service, Kobe Gibson.
Checking in for the Knights is going to be number 18, Kyla Evans, for number 15, Jayton Hall. Barely sneaks it up and over the net for Christian to get to it. Number 11 with the clean kill. That's going to be Sean, Sean Cunningham. He's going to find the net on that service. It's going to send... Chris that's going to send Christian Schaefer back to the line to serve for the Knights. Knights within two right now. Scores eight to six in favor of Randolph Macon. Too hot to handle for, for, Ju for Justin there, unfortunately for him. Substitution number 22. Hank Fagoli checking in for Randolph Macon back to the line. Was number five, James Manning. Tried to do a pump fake there, but easily read by number 22, Hank, Hank Fagila. I mean, really for a blocker to read that, that is pretty impressive because that middle was coming in hot and it definitely looked like that, but he definitely saw the, the fake out in it and he did exactly his job. Crusoe catches the out catches the outside line with the tip. Checking in for Yellow Jackets is gonna be is gonna be the Libero number one. Back back to serve for the Knights is Cristo. Tries to go for the far end, finds nothing, goes out of bounds for number for number 22. Out of bounds. He's gonna send Brogan back to back to serve. Jeremy might as well serve, serve that one on a silver platter. Finds the net on that one. Jayton Hall back in for the Knights to serve. He, find, he unfortunately finds the net. Right now, again, as we were talking, service errors affecting the Knights hardcore right now. As for the points so far from Randolph Macon has been because of service errors. Kind of a little alley-oop there to, to McKay Walker, a little alley-oop there from Schaefer. Get the point there. Jeremy Brown back to serve for the night. Finds the inside line. Number 15, Mateo DeLuca checking in for the Yellow Jackets. And he's gonna take the serve. Schaefer special finds the out finds the out out of bounds unfortunately there on the far end of the court.
Schaefer's. Schaefer specials get blocked, but just enough of a momentum on the ball to keep it on Randolph, the side of Randolph Macon. Checking in for the Yellow Jackets, going to be number 22, Frank Gila. McKay Walker with the service there. Tip by Schaefer. Brown to Schaefer. That's going to get blocked. And that's and that's going to be called for an up for an over. That's blocked. That's blocked as well. That's going to be blocked by Christian Schaefer. And that's a solo block with authority. That was amazing block. But I'm not going to lie, guys. I don't know if you can guys you guys can see this on the broadcast or not, but Randall Macon's team, every single one of them wants to be on the court right now. <laughs> They're all <laughs> inching up closer and closer to this court. With every, with every point. I'm a little distracted by it. One of these days, they're gonna have more than six, six players on the court. No, unfortunately there, Jeremy again sending the alley-oop to the, to the opposing team for the kill. Schaefer, the Cristo. Cristo gets called for the up and over. Schaefer to Schaefer. That is just not working for them right now. Yeah, their blocking game right now on Randolph Macon side is Absolutely incredible right now. They're reading everything. They're getting up high. They're sending it back into the to the uh, Knights court. They're doing everything right on this block, even reading their tricky plays. Yeah, no, it's definitely been a very interesting one. And again, Service errors are what killing the Knights right now. If it wasn't for service errors right now, the game would, would be within one. As they've had four service errors alone this set. Altogether, they've had, oh, they're in double digits on the serving errors right now. Yeah, that bench, Knights bench right now is not as lively as the Randolph Macon's, but hopefully that means that they're coming in, they're focusing as a team, because just as, Volleyball is a physical game. It really is a mental game. And the more mental it gets, the more you have to communicate with your team and really come together and play smart. You don't always have to play harder, but you just have to play smarter than you were before when, you were, when things weren't working. So we'll see if they can come together, really communicate well, and pull out this set. Something going on there. So I'm pretty sure it was with Tyler Schaefer over there on the nights where the ball kind of slipped through his hand. Somehow he still got it up to his hitter, but somehow it slipped through his hand, which should be called a double but no ref called it, so that's why Randolph Macon was getting so excited over there. Tyler Schaefer, the service. Wow. I don't even know how that ball went over the net, but it did. A little too, yeah, just has just enough spin that it just followed, followed, it, followed it up and over. That's gonna, looking for the back corner there, it doesn't find anything. 
Christian Schaefer now back to serve for the Knights. Ace going for Schaefer. And he finds the net on that one. Substitution number five. James Manning in for the Yellow Jackets. He's going to go take the service. That's going to go into the net. Back to serve, Cristo back to serve for the Knights. He finds the net. Again, service errors just being a little bit of a pain for Knights today. Checking in for the Knights, Cody Rogan for the Yellow Jackets. He's gonna take the service. Jeremy with the receive. Gives it inside to Tyler. He's gonna, he's gonna find that inside, that outside inside line. Those are the type of plays we like to see from the Knights. They really communicated well. They were calm, cool, and collected about it and just did what they needed to do. That's the type of mental game and those are the type of plays that if they can keep that up, they could take this game back. Jayton Hall the receive to serve. And he finds the net too. Right now, again, service errors has not been SVU's friend. There's so far in this game. Don't know what happened with that one. Schaefer tries to go for the, sa for the save. Time out. Right now, between Jared on fire with the service aces. But also right now, service errors right now for SVU have not been well. That's four in a row right now for them. Yep, that's never gonna help your game. <laughs> but I'm sure, I'm sure that they're trying to get it back together. I mean, at this point, it's really hard to pull back like as a team mentally, but you know, they're a pretty good team. They know they have the skills to do this. They just have to put all the pieces in the right place and they just got to kind of calm down, cool down and really focus that really frustrated energy that they might have right now into just really playing smart and really communicating well with their player, each other. But Randolph Macon, they're definitely they have the momentum right now. They're excited. You can just feel the energy on their bench. So hopefully these next few points are exciting and SVU Knights can come back a little bit. Yeah. Score is 24-18. Service point for, num for Jarrett.
there we go, McKay Walker with the kill. They did what they had to do. They didn't get too overexcited. They kept their movements cool and collected. They were playing smarter that round. That rally for the service. And they find the kill. You know, when someone just has a good hit, they have a good hit, you know? And unfortunately, that end that set. But not so unfortunately for Randolph Macon, taking 2 0 for over the SVU Knights. Yeah, no, it definitely is. Hey, can I have everyone's attention really quick? Um, in an effort to help grow the organizations during the spring semester, USA South Athletic Conference developed Pennies for a Purpose, which is a competition between each school in the conference to collect loose change, cash, or any other monetary donation, which will later be given to an organization. Currently announcing a yes, fundraiser that's currently going or a fundraising charity event here, here at SVU called Pennies for Change, and all proceeds will be will be donated to the Blue Ridge Autism Foundation. We ask you to participate in this effort and donate the table located by the entrance of the arena. Again, we are currently accepting all coin, cash, or Venmo donations. Thank you so much, and go Knights. Yeah, no, every, things have not been going well for the Knights right now. Service errors, they're at 13, 13 service errors so far, so far today. It's not been a good, not been a good day for them today. Do you want to give? Sorry, and the blocks on Randolph Macon are, I mean, they have 15 block assists um, compared to Southern Virginia too. So really, having those blocks and that wall up at the net for Randolph Macon is really making it hard for Southern Virginia to get their their balls finding the court. So. I mean, with serve receive errors and then not being able to hit like where you usually are normally able to get the ball to, it's that's a hard game to play. So Randolph Macon is really giving them run for their money. I mean, it's still only the second set. They could still come back, win these next three games, but we'll see. Yeah, no, still kind of still kind of hard to come back. Roanoke was able to do it in their last game, so hopefully the the magic is still here for the Knights to be able to come back and do it do that again come back with these next two sets and force the fifth set overtime I do want to give a shout out to our officiating officiating crew today we have up judge Brian Jones and down and down judge Dave Rover for today It definitely has been an act, an action-packed double set, though, for sure. When the rallies get going, the rallies get going. It's been fun to watch both teams just go at it with everything that they possibly can find. All they're missing right now is the kitchen sink. Back to serve for the Knights, number 10. It's going to be number 10, Tyler Schaefer. Tyler Schaefer, back to serve for the Knights to start this third set. Right now, the Knights need to find the magic. And he finds the net. Back to serve for the Yellow Jackets, Cody Rogan. Right now, service are kind of being the being the vein, vein of the existence for the Knights. Jeremy just able to get that snuck up and over for the kill after it just bit, hit the net just at the right way. 
back to serve. Now is going to be Christian Schaefer to serve. That's going to be a block to both Kyla and Christo. There we go. That's what we like to see from the Knights. Really getting up, reading those hits, and making that wall up at the net. Yeah, that's definitely something the Knights are looking are looking at right now. Christian again with this with the serve. That's going to be out of bounds. Trying. Jeremy was really trying to block that, but it was too high. I'm glad he, I'm glad he missed it because it went all the way out. Jarrett with the error on that one. Christian with the ace. He finds the ace of spades in his deck and uses it. That one's tipped off. Cristo with the block. Fortunately, does not fall, fall the right direction. It's one of those blocks where he could have just stayed there just a little bit longer to push it back over to the other side of the net, and he would have had it, had it, but he didn't quite push it back over enough. Back to serve is going to be Jarrett Corona. Jeremy with the kill on the outside. Checking in for the first time this game, Curtis Stone. He's gonna go back and take the service. Also coming back in is McKay Walker. Stone for his first serve of the game. That's gonna be a kill over to Evans. He finds he finds the he finds the assistance from Schaefer, Schaefer and gets the rocket off. That'll send Stone back to the line. A little too hot to handle there for Stone. Serving now is number 15, Mateo. That was an amazing backup. That's the type of teamwork and like communication and everybody really being where they need to be um, for the Knights. Referees meeting really quick to talk about that. Point stays with the Knights. Dayton Hall checking in for the Knights. He's going to go back and take the service. Dayton being very consistent. Christian Schaefer says no, 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 as he goes up for the block and is able to get it a clean single block. That was really good calm, calm collected by those everyone up at the front net for the Southern Virginia Knights. They all thought they might have a chance, but they really played that very well. 
Jenton Hall going back to serve. He's been very consistent on both games today. Ooh, doesn't find it. That looked like it hit the inside corner. But that's, I guess no. That's why we have those line judges. They really do have the best viewpoint standing at opposite corners covering all those lines. Number four for the Yellow Jackets. That was da Davis Luck with it. That's McKay Walker with the kill on that one. Jeremy Brown finds the, finds the, finds again, he finds his ace of spades, which then now for, forces the Yellow Jackets of Randolph-Macon to take a timeout. You're feeling Talk that momentum swing. So this is exciting. This could be a really exciting game. So far, each team not giving an inch, and SVU finally somewhat making up for those service errors. So far in this game alone, they're sitting at 15 service errors so far. But they're getting more blocks this set, and then Randolph Makett's not getting in as many blocks. So SVU is being able to get their hits down to the court a lot more this time. They're finding their groove, they're talking to each other. They're playing the ball a lot smarter than they were last set. Yeah, so far between both McKay Walker and Christian Schaefer have, are your kill, kill leaders so far with six and seven respectively. Tyler Schaefer so far setting everyone up with 21 assists so far with each of these kills that have happened throughout this entire game. Jeremy, after the timeout, is going to take the service again and see if he can't find another ace in the deck. Because between the start of this game and then all of last game, he definitely was on the cold streak when it came to serving. Has to dig for that one. Gonna, he's going to find the block between both Schaefer brothers and McKay Walker. That, that hit had no chance of getting over. Not when you have two really tall guys who know how to jump, and then you have Christian Schaefer who, again, also knows how to jump. Almost gets the save. Off of, Jer off of Jeremy Brown, uh, over to Christian Schaefer who tries to save it, but unfortunately just runs out of room. Number 10 to serve, that is going to be Kobe Gibson. That, that was an easy read for Randolph Macon with, with both Sean Cunningham and Cody Rogan taking the assist on the block. Colby Gibson for the serve. That's going to be short. Saved by, saved by Christian. Out of bounds after the save. It's going to send the Knights up, up by six. Twelve is score is twelve to six in favor of of the Knight. Back to serve is going to be McKay Walker. Mateo finds the block with the Schaefer brothers. Gotta wonder where this was at in the first and second game. Walker to serve. That's gonna be out of bounds. So far, Walker is having an impressive outing on his first game back, even still playing with a broken pinky. And he himself also finds an ace in the deck. You 
you got you got him. He's got to be filling that one after that. That's going to be out of bounds for that shot. So far, McKay Walker's consistency is helping the Knights get back, keeping the Knights ahead. Now, now up by ten. That goes right through the hands of Walker. Substitution. It's gonna be James Manning coming in for, for the Yellow Jackets to serve. Libero, Jason, Jer Justin Matson comes in. Mateo with the kill after Schaefer feeds it to him. Checking in for the, coming in for the Knights, Kyla Evans after a quick breather. Going back to the line is gonna be Tyler Schaefer serving. That's gonna be a little too, too much power on that one. Definitely tell where all his momentum was going. Puts the Yellow Jackets within nine. Now serving Cody Rogan for the Yellow Jackets. find the defenders. Evans has been able to read this defense every time he's tried to he's tried to go for the kill. He's got the book and is reading their defense like there's no tomorrow right now. Yeah, everyone on the night side is really playing their part. They're really moving around well. They're talking to each other, trying to get their tricky plays. That's Christian Schaefer with the serv service error. Back to serve for the Yellow Jackets gonna be number nine, Jarrett. And he's gonna find his own server tower into the net for the Knights. 14, Curtis Stone checking in. Checking in is gonna be number seven, Den Daniel Newwin for the Yellow Jackets, and then also checking in Curtis Stone for the yep, for the Knights. Curtis has been very consistent on that serve. No communication there, unfortunately, for the Knights. Mateo is going to check in, but Libero, Justin Madsen is going to come in, come in instead. 15. Mateo DeLuca finds his own service error. Jayton Hill is going to come check in, and he's going to go, he's going to go take the service. Checking in for the first. Kobe Gibson checks back back in for the Yellow Jackets. That's going to be tipped off. That was a great set on Randolph Make inside of the court. There's been a lot of good sets on both sides of, sides of the court today. Donaldson, Davis, Luck. Davis, Luck now with the service for Randolph Macon. He's gonna find he's gonna find find an error as well. That's gonna be three straight in a row for them. They 
they were taunting earlier about how SVU was having the Cerebrus areas, and now, they're, now the coin seems to be flipped on the other side. Jeremy Brown back to serve. He had some luck the last time he was up. Unfortunately, just not enough power on that one yet. And also, yet again, commentator curse. I should just quit talking when he's serving. Number 10 now, Kobe Gibson. He's going to do a floater up to Schaefer. Thought he had the kill, but unfortunately, he thought it was tipped off, but it wasn't. Little up and easy, up over to, to McKay Walker, who he's just gonna, he's just gonna do a light tap, send that in the middle of, middle of nowhere where there's no defenders. Score is 22-13 in favor of the Knights right now. McKay with the service. And the save. And that's going to be out of bounds. Good, good set of ball handling there from the Knights. Forcing Randolph Macon to kind of be off center there, off edge. Walker's going to find his, his first service error of the game by sending that into the net. The barrel, number six, Justin Madsen checking back in after a quick breather. I mean, the Knights are up by nine right now, but John if they had less service, or serve, service errors, they would have won this game by now. John Sa Saxman is the guy he's serving right now for Randolph making the tip. Cristo with the error on that one. The Schaefer brothers find the hammer and bring it down onto the anvil for that for that kill. Checking in back in is Kyla Evans, who has been having who's been having success on reading this defense for some of his own kills tonight. That's going to be tipped up and up and in. Knights were not expecting that easy tip, especially an easy tip from the back row. They went up for that front row hit, but then it was a back row tip, and it just came in right over their hands. Philip von Isendorf, number 14, checks in for Randolph Macon. Barely clears the net with that service. Cristo barely gets it over with his own set, and that's going to be a block. Point to Randolph Macon, score 24-17. So we, we are in, game, in set point for SVU. Cody Rogan is going to do a service error for that set. And we are going into set number four, ladies and gentlemen. You know, it's not exactly how you want to end a set by them giving you a point, but we'll take it. But we are all. But I'm pretty sure they will also take that at the same time. Well, we will take a short break now, but we will come back to you for the fourth set between Randolph Megan and the SVU Knights.
and we are back for set number four in this in this heat heat heated shoot off between Rand Randolph Macon Yellow Jackets and the Southern Virginia University Knights. Oh, during the break we were looking at statistics, and right now service errors have not been in any in favor of SVU right now. SVU is sitting 18 service errors. I mean Randolph Macon is at 14, but still. That's almost a whole set. <laughs> That's a <laughs> lot of points to, to make up, to just let them have for free. But I was excited to see the Knights come alive a little bit in that last set. And so I think what I would guess for this next set is we're, gonna, we're really going to see the best of both teams here in this next set, So I, which would be really exciting volleyball. So let's see what happens between Randolph-Macon and SVU Knights here for the fourth set. Yeah, definitely for sure. But a lot of key players came into came into that tight. McKay Walker finding a few of his own, finding a few aces. Christian Schaefer finding a few couple aces. Jeremy Brown finding a couple aces. Back to serve. Back to serve. Start start this next set. It's going to be number two, Cody Rogan. Finds a service error into the net. You gotta wonder if the, if the crowd support behind him is, is getting to him there for that quick second to make him lose his concentration. Back to serve is gonna be, that's gonna be Christian Schaefer. And he finds the net there of, of his own. So back to back service errors for both teams so far. I guess we've both now done it. Now we can move on with the game. <laughs> Mateo is going to. Cristo with the kill was not able to dig down deep enough to to go, go for the dig, which will give Cristo the Cristo the kill. Back to serve is going to be number 14, Curtis Stone. Stone has been doing very well today on the ser service when by coming into this game. And that's going to get that's going to get blocked. Solo block by McKay Walker. That's nice. Yeah, McKay Walker with the broken broken pinky find. Finds his own, finds his own block for the point. Stone back to, back to serve. Evans with the block. Tries, to, tries to do a quick tapper but doesn't find it, and that's going to be a block by both McKay Walker and. Jeremy Brown with Jimbo with Jimbo Slice and Walker. So far, the Knights are finding their rhythm with Stone serving, and there I go again with the commentator curse. <laughs> Mateo is going to check in, but first Libero, Libero Justin Madsen will, will come in. Service for Mike is going to be 15, Mateo DeLuca. Christian Schaefer with the quick, easy tapper from his brother Tyler. That's, gonna, that's going to ha call for a switch for Kyler Evans for Hill. Hill's going to come in for the serve. The roof. 
So that's going to be a, a, a welcome to the barn chat from, from the home crowd today. That'll send Jayton Hall back to the service line. He's going to, he's unfortunately going to find an out of bounds run on that one. Checking in is going to be number seven, Daniel, Daniel Newwin back to serve for the Yellow Jackets. He's going to find an out, he's going to find an overpowered shot. Which will send, send Jimbo slash Jeremy Brown, number four, back to serve for the Knights. And that is going to be a clean kill for number 11, Sean Cunningham. That will send number 10, Kobe Gibson, back to serve for the Yellow Jackets. That's tipped off by a host of Knights. Jeremy Brown gets his own, gets his own off the block, but unfortunately he's just not able to, the rest of the Knights are un, unable to find something there to help him out. That unfortunately is going to be a little too much power there from, from Walker, sending that out of bounds. Schaefer brothers bring the hammer down, down for that one. Going to send McKay Walker back to serve for the Knights. Score is currently eight to six in favor of the Knights. One, two, Tyler Schaefer with a solo block right there. He read that like a book. Tyler not only showing like, hey, I can set, but I can also block if need be. Gonna send McKay back to the back to the service line. Pretty hot, heavy, heavy hit from that one. Fortunately, it's going to be an error off of Kobe Gibson trying to just do a nice tap up and up and over the net, but he finds it straight into the net instead. Okay, Walker with the next service. That saved. Just on that right side of Walker there, he's not able to get it. Checking in is gonna be number five, James Manning and number 22, Hank, Fo Hank Fogli Foglia. Tyler Schaefer. Says thank you very much after after getting it set to himself. Kyla Kyla Evans in shock, trying to figure out what the heck happened with that one, where that came from from Tyler. Tyler not known to. Tyler not known for his kills. And that gets up and over. Knights bringing out their feet to play out this of game about, too. Oh, it barely on the inside, using every part of the body possible to get that up and over in. Checking in for Randolph Macon is going to be number 14, 
Philip Von Isendorf, which will send Cody Rogan back to the line to serve. He's gonna find a service error there. You gotta wonder if the home field crowd is getting, getting to Rogan back there. That's twice in a row he's had the service error. Back to serve is gonna be Christian Schaefer. Looks to go for the quick shot kill, but do instead does it. You know what? You guys already jumped. I'm just going to tap it over. With his left hand, yep. Got to love. He, he's a right-handed right right handed hit, but he decided, oh, I'll take it easy on you. Use the left hand there. Back to serve is going to be Christian Schaefer. Tried to do the same thing Jeremy did to the other side, but unfortunately not successful there. Time out to, to Randolph Macon. Score is 14 to eight in favor of the Knights. Gotta love the momentum right now. Gotta love the momentum right now coming from the Knights. Yeah, they definitely found their, found their groove a little bit later in this game, but they're bringing it now. And it's ex really fun volleyball to watch. Both both sides seem to be pretty scrappy. They seem to be really trying to play together and communicate well. Coming out for a great some great volleyball tonight. A yeah. little late coming, but it's here. Yeah, for sure. Right now, both teams at 18 and 6. 18 for Randolph making 16 for the Knights when it comes to the blocking game. So both a very so also a very block heavy game so far tonight too, from both sides, making sure ne neither of them can get the kill. Diggs though on the other hand 25 from SVU, so they're put they're willing to put their bodies on the line there for that. While Randolph making sitting at 21. And right now service errors, which has been the biggest factor for both teams right now. SVU this entire game altogether sitting with 21 while Randolph Macon sitting at 17. Christian Schaefer back to serve after the timeout. And the court a little too much power after the timeout. He got into the groove and then the timeout disrupted it. That'll send number nine, Jarrett Jer Carano back to the line to serve. Jeremy able to come up with that one. Tyler Evans gets the kill after the trickery from the night. Knights are finally able to be able to use that disguise very well tonight after not being able to during that first set. Curtis Stone checks in, check in for the Knights for the service. He's been awesome for the Knights so far tonight on his service. That's unfortunately gonna go out. Put, tried to put some spin on that, didn't work. Cristo gonna go ahead and come Come check back in. Number 15, that's going to be Mateo De Luca. Checks back in. That's going to be a tip off of number. Both number 10 and number 11, that's gonna be Gibson and Cunningham coming with a tip for the out of bounds. Point to the Knights. Checking back in for, for the Yellow Jack, it's gonna be number 22 after the libero comes off, comes off the field for them. That's gonna be Brooks Co Co Cowett. Cowett. Back to serve, it's gonna be number 15, Jayton Hall. 
He's going to find the net. Subbing back, subbing in is going to be number seven, Daniel, Daniel Newen. For the Yellow Jackets, he's going to take the service. Barely gets it over the net. Safer over, over to Walker for the kill for that one. Walker's got to be filling that welcome back, that welcome back energy. Yeah, he's had some really great quick plays. Really throwing off the defense from Randolph making it. That's going to be a that kill. solo block by Christian Schaefer. Jeremy Brown back to serve for the Knights. Barely gets it over. That's going to be up and that's going to be out of bounds off of number 10, Kobe Gibson. From too much power behind his release. Oh, I was wrong. That actually fell in. That brings the service over to the Yellow Jackets. He tries to do an up and over tip by number two, Cody Rogan. That doesn't fall in for him. Going back to serve is going to be McKay Walker checking in is going to be Cristo number one for the Knights. Tyler Schaefer, I think, try, made him think he was getting ready for the set, but instead just decides just to just tip it over himself instead of feeding it to Mateo. For and you Christo. have to know where you are on the court to be able to make a play like that. He knew that he had space to go behind him. He wasn't too close to the line. So you have to have really good court awareness to make a play like that. And in the meantime, both Cristo and Tyler Schaefer come up with the assisted block on that one. Checking in for the first time this game is going to be number 17, Mitchell, Ry Mitchell Wyatt for Randolph Macon. Brown gets the kill off of number 10. That's going to be off Kobe Gibson. Off the kill both after both players, number two and number one respectively for both teams and tried to do the quick up and over, over hits. Seventeen, that's going to be Mitchell Wyatt finds the kill. Score is 22-13 in favor of the Knights. It's going to be number five, James Manning, for the service. Jeremy Brown gets the kill. That's going to make it 23-13 in favor of the Knights. You got to think that potentially fatigue is starting to kick in for Randolph Macon here. I mean, this is, they went to five in their first game. Now they're in the fourth set of their second game. So that is a lot of volleyball in a very short amount of time. Brooks Cowett checking in. He's a Seven to one, no one there to after one, after Cowart, Cowart hits it. Yeah, there wasn't much power on that, but it went to exactly the right spot to really throw off the defense of Randolph Macon. Got to send Tyler Schaefer to the service for a match point, for set point. And he's gonna find the net.
score is 24-14 in favor of the Knights. And folks, we have ourselves a volleyball game tonight for sure. If you're in the Buena Vista area, feel free to come on down and come support these Knights. And it's going to be a service error by Cody Rogan again for the, for the set point. Once With again, that's not exactly how you want to finish a set. You want to really earn that set, get it on a good kill. Great play, but we'll take it. That's how the game goes. Currently doing a coin flip to see who's going to receive. Now, as someone who doesn't know volleyball, what happens with this fifth set? So, as far as I know, it goes to 15. Um, and usually what I'm used to is them switching sides at eight points. Whoever, whichever team gets to eight points first will switch sides, but I'm not sure if that, they're gonna do that with this game or not. But yes, as far as I know, this game is only to 15. It's a shorter set, so you really gotta make every point count. I think we will take a short break now and yep. come back with you for the fifth set between SVU Knights and Randolph Macon Yellow Dragons. Number five, this is for all the marbles. So far, I, across the board, both Randolph Macon and SVU are, have been meeting each other point for point. Service errors, on the other hand, has been an entirely different ball game. going to be a timeout for blood. That's going to be blood on number 10, Cody Gibson from the knee. Now they're just double checking the floor, making sure there's Nothing seeable there. Why they get him doctored up really quick, quick here.
SVU with the service. Very nice cover by Taylor Schaefer, Tyler Schaefer there. They're still trying to tell the ref, hey, they hit the net. That's gonna send number two, Cody Rogan. That barely finds its way over the net. Evans trying to go for that inside line, doesn't find it there on that hit. after it hits the roof. Unfortunately, just not enough on the angle there for that one. That's gonna be do, yep, he tried to just do a gentle rollover just to sneak it over the net, but not enough, not enough to get it over the net. That's gonna send Christian Schaefer back to the line to serve. That's gonna be blocked by Jeremy Brown. Randolph, sorry, Randolph Megan thought that that ball went out, but they're calling it so that I think that they're calling it saying that Randolph Megan touched it before before it went out after the block. Great dig by number by Madsen six. six. Yep. Nothing there, unfortunately, found for that. It's going to be th scores now three to two in favor of Randolph Macon. Still a very tight and close game. He's going to find that inside corner. That's going to be an ace. He's gonna find the net for that one. That was number nine, Jarrett. Checking in is gonna be number 14, Curtis Stone. With Curtis Stone being able to find a lot of good luck, good fortune serving for these Knights, and the Knights love him serving. Also checking in is McKay Walker for the libido. He, 14 finds the kill for that one. Checking in is gonna be number 15, Mateo DeLuca. Barely sneaks it over with three. get a block up and over by number 10, Kobe Gibson onto his own side. Checking in for the Knights, Jayton Hall. So far, still a very close game, five to four in favor of Randolph Macon right now. Hall also having a very good night on the serving stance. Refs weren't ready quite yet, yet there for the service. Three, 
if you have a flashlight, please do not turn it on and wave it during the match. It's going to be some, some type of distraction going on right now. <laughs> Number 10, Sean Co Kobe Gibson with the kill. No, and there's a really good good hit like that, you almost just gotta respect it. I mean, you don't try and don't let him have it, but seriously. If he gets, it, gets that good of a hit, and you don't get it, you can't feel too bad about that one, but you do have to focus in and really get that next point. Cody Terrell with the hit, and he's gonna get the ace. that inside line for his own for a second ace yep here we are this set only goes to 15 points and the Randolph Megan got to eight points so now we're switching sides of the court and then we will resume play this is an even closer game than usual since it really only does go to 15 points so every point means even more during this fifth set than any other set Time out to Southern Virginia. Why we have this time out really quick, we do want to send out a special thank you to our partner, our athletic partner, Draw, Straws, Drinks, and Eats. Thank you so much for everything you do to sponsor SVU Athletics. And if you're in town, feel free to go take, go take a look at them. Go ahead and get yourself a nice little drink. I like the cherry cord cord cordial myself. Yeah, they have all sorts of fun um, sodas. You can mix make your own they have great different combinations that you no, don't normally see of fun soda drinks and they even have fun little snacks and even great cookies by the cookie lady um, here in Buena Vista yeah I know things are heating up here in the bar and you can feel the the anxiousness in the air right now for both sides right now. SVU down by four points. Randolph just a seven points away from what they're shooting for. I mean, this game really has been like a huge roller coaster. First, the first two sets, the Knights couldn't find their groove, so the Randolph Macon ran away with it. The next two sets, Knights were taking it over pretty easily. But now here in the fifth set, when every point means even more, Randolph is up by four. <laughs> Gotta love the, the, that little combo there. You First. know they're hitting hard when you hit the block, the dig sets it back up for the other team, and the other team can hit it off that dig. Jeremy Brown does not find, find the line he's looking for, and that's gonna be a service error on him. With right now, that is not what you need from SVU right now. You can't afford the service errors. Couldn't quite get his hands on it, but number six, Madsen really did try to go for it. His, I feel like his head went under the chairs there for a minute. Number 10, Kobe Gibson for the service. He's got a nice light serve. Schaefer with just enough power on that one, able to get it to stay over. Checking in is going to be number one, Mateo. Sending to the, to the service line, McKay Walker for the service. Number two on Randolph Macon looks like he uh, might have tweaked his knee a little bit, but he seems to want to play through it. Here 
Christian Schaefer to Tyler Schaefer. Sorry, strike that. Tyler Schaefer to his brother Christian for the hammer on the anvil kill shot. McKay for the service. Tries to tip it over, just not enough power there on that. Gonna be a timeout to Randall Macon. That's gonna be a score 10 to eight in favor of the Yellow Jackets right now. These are right. some critical points for the Knights. I mean, they were down four points when they switched sides of the court. Now they're only down by two. So that's a good comeback right there. Hopefully they can keep that momentum going and really take this game. But I love the fact that both teams are really bringing their A games right now and bringing, showing us some really great fun volleyball. Yeah, you have the Schaefer brother from Pie My Paul Myra, Pennsylvania, both putting in the work as, as well as McKay Walker from Cali California doing, doing a lot of the heavy lifting in these past couple sets here. Like I said, you gotta have, you gotta think that McKay, that McKay is feeling the welcome back energy spark that comes when you've been off for a little bit. And the Schaefer's just have the same, the synchronization that they have as brothers. They really need to come together as a team. They need to keep that communication up and really play smart with every ball. Every touch has to be a benefit to that ball to really take this game. Cristo checking in for the Knights. That's going to be blocked by, by Tyler Schaefer with Cristo on the assist. Puts it in within one. That's gonna unfortunately hit the pole. Trying to find the line shot, but fortunately a little too far outside. That's gonna send number five, James Manning to the line. Manning has been excellent serving for Randolph Macon tonight. Schaefer with a little trickery of his own there. Look, to, look for the pump pick and decided, ah, you're not even looking at me. Pops it up and over. That was a great tip by the setter. I mean, that can be a tricky play. If you show that you're gonna do that tip too early, those blockers find it real quick. But he played that just right and he found that hole in the floor. Kyla Evans checking checking in Schaefer with the with the serve. Madsen almost get, finds the dig for the save. Score is 12 to 10. is able to get the re receive and the kill for that play. That's gonna send Christian Schaefer back to the line. He's been a little cold himself recently in this set as well. Remember, the Yellow Jackets only need three more points to win this game. They cannot give them anything. They have to play smart, communicate well, and really go after every ball that they can. So far, a lot of the out of bounds. Woo! A lot of a lot of those aren't a lot of the ones we were seeing in that set weren't the full pullback kills, but just the just the little pop up and overs during that entire set. And finally Jeremy Brown able to psych out the guy. Force him on the outside. Time out to Randolph Macon. Score is 12 to 12. Three points remain for both teams here. So it's basically a whole new game right now. Both teams need to think of this as a whole new game. There's only three points in this game. Every single point matters more than ever right now. But they've been doing a really good job. Every single touch in those last couple of rallies, every single touch benefited the ball and helped the team. They are playing smart, they're communicating well. And I know that last rally had a little bit more of like those soft tips and rolls type of attack, 
but I really hope we see them come out with some smart, aggressive hits because that is what really finishes off a game. As long as you can play them smart and really do get your timing down. But I think the SVU Knights really have that skill. Randolph Macon has those skills too. So anybody's game, game to three right now. Yeah, I know. Everything's looking really good right now for both teams. And I, I would, I would disagree. It's nice to have those four-on kills every now and then, but also at the same time, it's like once you get in the rhythm with four-on kills, trick them up, trick them up with the nice, easy up and overs. Yep, definitely. They both have their time in the place. But to really finish a game, you got to stay aggressive and really finish it up. Yes, there's times and place for those soft plays and soft rolls to throw them off a little bit, but you got to, you got to really play your best. Christian Schaefer with a successful serve. No communication there on that one. Justin beating himself up because he thought someone else was going to get it. Still anybody's game. Serving for right now is number nine, Jarrett. That's going to be out of bounds for that one. Game to two. Checking in for the Knights is going to be number 14, and they're going to give the libero a little bit of a break. Curtis Stone back to serve. Stone having a very successful night on the ser on the serving side tonight. He's been very, very consistent. <laughs> Commentators curse. I really not the time. Really no, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> we were singing his praise, and unfortunately, it came back to bite me in the butt on that one. It's going to send Mateo DeLuca back to serve. Time out for the Knights, 14 to 13. So again, Knights coming up short. Those service errors right now in this game entirely have been what has been killing the Knights. As of right now, coming in, They are at 27 service errors while Randolph Macon are at 20. So um, base a full set of service errors for the Southern Virginia for this entire game. Again, scores 14 to 13 in favor of Randolph Macon and Macon has the serve. It is going to be number 15, Mateo DeLuca, with the service. The crowd trying to, trying to rally, get the boys to rally. right now coming off that timeout really putting everything together as a team communicating well and getting that ball down to the court it's exactly what you want to see Jayton Hall coming in for the service for the night it's going to give Kyla Evans a break it's kind of a make or break serve well let's be silent right now <laughs> there we go Yes, great dig by Christian Schaefer right there. Oh, and it is a win by two. That's right. So yes, just because Randolph Macon got to 15 first, because Southern Virginia is at 14, they still have not won. You have to win by two points. Going to service is going to be number seven, Daniel Newguy. And he's going to hit that into the net. SVU's got to be got to be breathing breathing a little sigh of relief on that one, as new guy was the one who got him got them to this in the first place. Jeremy Brown to service. 
That's going to be out of bounds on the block. It was a good block, but unfortunately did not find anyone anywhere. Great block. Try to get him tricked up. Woo! Gets the gets the finger finger hit to go over. Barely by the fingertips. Sometimes it's good to be lucky, but the team had set him up for success, so it came together. Yeah, no, that was just a little bit on the a little bit on the side of relief for him on that one. That's gonna be Walker for the service. Blocked. I really hope they bring, still bring their aggression. I hope they play smart, they communicate, but they still bring that, those aggressive hits. That is what I was talking about. That is the Schaefer special si served on a silver platter for, for Christian for the kill there on for him. That's gonna be out of bounds. Checking in is gonna be number 22. Hank gonna be going to serve is number five, James Manning. You could feel the electricity in the air right now. The adrenaline for both sides. Schaefer with the with a nice easy tip. It's going to send. Number 10, Tyler Schaefer to the line, checking in for the Knights is gonna be number 18, Kyler Evans. You gotta love those type of plays. There's a time and a place for all the aggressive hits, there's a time and a place for those soft little tips when you know exactly where you're gonna put it and that one worked. Good Jeremy thing. Brown with the save. in favor of your knight to win the set two to three. Out of a much needed heated exchange from both teams, the knights finally find the will and the way to win. That is all, that's gonna come off an attack error from Daniel Newguy. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to end tonight's action-packed game here in the barn. Again, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We want to give one more special thanks to our to our athletic partners, Straws, Dreets, and Neeks for everything that you guys have done for Southern Virginia Athletics. And if you would like to partner with Southern Virginia Athletics and promote your business here on campus, please contact Brett.Schroeder, which is B-R-E-T-T dot S-C-H-R-O-E-D-E-R at S-V-U dot E-D-U for more info. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, my, this is Christian with Marion, and we are signing off for one heck of a night. Thank you, folks. Thanks for joining us. Have a good night, and God bless you.